This is the hardest job in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It is. Comedy is the hardest job in the world. I know, because my careers officer told me when I was a student at university. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I just got my final results through and I went to see the careers officer. And I showed her my 2-2 in creative writing. And she asked me what I wanted to do for a living. And I said, well, I, I quite fancy the idea of being a rocket scientist. <laughs> and she looked at this and said, no, 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 you're far too qualified for that. <laughs> the only job you're qualified to do is you can either be a comedian or a cabinet minister. And I did think of going into politics, but uh, I thought comedy would be better for holding on to my integrity. <laughs> so people often ask me, you know, they often ask me how I cope with doing this, the hardest job. All right, someone once asked me, <laughs> No, no one asked you, did they? Okay, for the purposes of this link, a fictional character in a hypothetical dream once asked me, how do you cope with the stresses of hey. comedy? Yes? How do you cope with the stresses of comedy? Oh, yes! 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 Oh. You'll get a mention tomorrow. You'll get a mention tomorrow. Well, it's funny because people are asking me about all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, well, Job, how do you cope with the stresses of comedy? I pray. He prays, of course. I cope with it through a convocation of prescribed and illegal drugs. <laughs> well, not so much these days because I'm pleased to say I finally kicked my destructive habit for prescribed drugs. I only take the illegal ones now. <laughs> but, uh, I'm very pleased that I managed to kick my habit through prescribed drugs. Bless it. The doctors, they did used to prescribe me Valium until they found out I enjoyed it. But uh, I've kicked the habit and I've written this song, which is in no way plagiarised at all. And we would very much like to know what you think of it. T'was on a Monday morning I called on my GP. I said the world was wretched as a stellar promontory. He concurred but my depression was the worst he'd ever seen, but promised he could cure it with a dose of sertraline. Oh, it all makes work for the pharmacist to do. <laughs> it was on a Tuesday morning, anxiety and fear had simply been replaced with impotence and diarrhea. When the nurses saw the toilet, by God they could have cried, but promised they could fix it with a dose of lampamide. Oh, it all makes work for the pharmacist to do. It was on a Wednesday morning, I'd a vomiting attack. I spent so long bent double that I then put out my back. The pain was so tremendous that nothing could console until the doctor hit me with a dose of Corpodol. Oh, it all makes work for the pharmacist to do. It was on a Thursday morning and life was just a dream. The Corpodol was lovely, I was floaty and serene. Alas, this blissful stupor came with a fearful curse. I was careless when I crossed the road and got hit by a bus. Oh, it all makes work for the pharmacist to do. It was on a Friday morning, I was in a dreadful state. The surgeons hacked and chiseled as they rearranged my face. My agonizing screams grew awfuler and awfuler. So to shut me up, they shot me up with tons and tons of morphia. Oh, it all makes work for the pharmacist to do. On Saturday and Sunday, they had a word for Take no Jeremy Hunt, but I'll call me Dr. Monday and I'll tell him I'm depressed. <laughs>